Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast, meaning love does not talk with excessive pride and self-satisfaction. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, seeking, meaning it is more important to love others. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves, and love never fails. What do I say about Ketu? She's been my baby sister, and I've been so fond of her right from the day she was born. I was lucky enough to be with her for her first words, her first bike ride, her first everything. Remember the first car that quit on us in the middle of the busy Manhattan street, oh my god. But, uh, well you get the idea, but standing here today in front of this beautiful bride, I can't help but admire what a lovely young woman she's grown into. Nate has always been a, a guy who takes decisions he makes seriously, so when he chose to add Keki to the family, it was the perfect choice. Keki is literally the nicest person I've ever met. Since the wedding back in India, everyone back home cannot stop talking about how what a great guy Nate is and his great Bollywood dancing skills that we saw right now. Hats off, Nate. Nathan, do you take Keki for your lawfully wedded wife to live in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish her from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Right. Keki, do you take Nathan for your lawfully wedded husband to live in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish him from this day forward, and forsaking all others, keeping only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. I do, wonderful. The two outside candles have been lit by your moms to represent both your lives and your families. They are two distinct lights representing two distinct families. As you join in marriage, th this is a merger of these two lights into one light. This is what the Lord meant when he said, on this account, a man shall leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife and the two shall be one flesh. Would you like the center candle please, the both of you, and then extinguish the two small ones. Who is needier when they are sick? Who, is, who needs the taking care of? That's, that's right. Who you think is going to fall asleep first tonight? Whom do you love the most in the whole wide world? Everybody go, ah, that's right. Kate and Nate, you both are so blessed to have joined two loving families together and we are thrilled to be a part of your ever after today. So if you all please raise your glasses and join me in toasting the new Mr. and Mrs. Hubert. May your marriage draw you closer as you share your hopes and dreams. May your faith and love sustain you no matter what you face. May you prosper in health, wealth, happiness and each day be a better day than yesterday. Congratulations, you guys. I love you both.
And as much as you, Nathan, and you, Keki, have consented together in the union of matrimony and have pledged your faith each to the other in the presence of God, your families, and friends, I now, by the authority vested in me, by the state of Florida, pronounce you both husband and wife and the new Nathan and Keki Huber. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>